What's up guys, it's Frank Nitti, and I'm back with the game breakdown of when we played against Kevin Porter Jr. and Denzel Valentine. What's up, Ball's Life fam, and thanks for watching this video. If you want to support the movement, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So on this play, um, this was after a couple words were exchanged at the free throw line back the other way. Um, I don't remember exactly what was said, but it was on the lines, along the lines of, you know, you can't guard me. So um, now I'm coming down. Now I'm ready to, you know, try to guard. Um, I always say I ain't going, you know, I'm a, I ain't going to stop nobody, but I'm going to try to make it as tough as possible for you. Um, you know, uh, I feel like that's my job on this team. Um, and that's what they look for me to, to bring to the game. So, um, yeah, I say a couple. <laughs> so right there, a lot of people always want to know what I say. I literally say get that we out of here. So, uh, <laughs> I just read it. I just read it good. It was a good defensive play. Um, nothing special, but, uh, right now, you know, I'm in my bag. Uh, you know, I'm trying to bring the gym up, bring the gym live. I'm, I'm trying to do whatever I can, you know, getting, you know, an NBA player hit. So, um, this this was a fun game, man. This was a fun game. Uh, we got people on the sideline. Now we join. So right here, he was like, uh, this is the reason I'm in the NBA. Um, I got more money than you. Um, man, he was just violating. I don't even, I tell people all the time that I don't like talking about this game because I looked so ignorant. But uh, at the end of the day, it's pride. We playing for pride. We're not playing for a check. We're not playing for a contract. Nothing like that. Um, we just out here hooping in between those lines. As you know, anything goes. So um, we join basically, and we got you know Demar on the sideline. We got everybody on the sideline. Isaiah Thomas, everybody laughing and enjoying the game, man. You know this is what they don't have in the league right now. Bunch of you can't do this no more. It's a tech, so it was fun. Um, so this one, I come down, try to use a pick and roll, see what I can get out of it. Try not to turn it into so much selfish basketball, but I am feeling myself a little bit, so excuse that. <laughs> So I come down, get a bump, step back, mid-range, bottoms. Um, again, this was after, you know, some talking and I done hit a couple shots and now, you know, I'm, I'm feeling myself and, you know, he kind of didn't pay attention to me. And then we got Kevin Porter. Come on, man. Nutmegging my players. <laughs> um, this is a fun game, man. That's when he showed me something. Kevin Porter showed me something that I knew he was going to be the real deal. Got Isaiah Thomas walking in, Eli Scott. Look, Jason Williams. I almost fell on his uh, $10,000 shoes. DeMar walking in. They knew what type of game it was going to be. Come down on a fast break, get a little layup. We just playing right now. Again, try to get a little move going. He got pretty solid defense, but he dropped back. Everybody was telling him, let me shoot, which is the worst thing. Um, Cause once you let me get rolling, it, it's hard to stop me from doing both. Um, my guy Jay Hen, I throw it into the post. We get a we get a turnover right there, but it was a good look. Then they get a leak out layup. They were a good team. I just think this game got away from them when they started talking, and not everybody can play and talk. Good pass, Kevin Porter, to another layup. I try to come block that, but wasn't no way I was going to get it. <laughs> Again, he dropped back on the, the jumper. I'm going to let it rip. Now I'm talking because that let me shoot. I, I can't stay on people say that. At the end of the day, we all hoopers. I'm going to respect everybody, even if it's not your strong suit. Kevin Porter's tough, man. He hit my guy with a little move, but he kind of stuck with him. And this one, he was, you know, young. <laughs> Hell of a uh, reverse dunk. Guy's a crazy athlete. Got my guy Bell working hard, man. Eli coming down. Pass to Kevin. Look, tween behind the back. Curl tween. <laughs> he got moves. Again, like, they dropping back, but I get a little step. First step is pretty fast, so I get a layup. And now, you know, I'm John because I, I, I like what he's showing me. So now I'm talking, look at him, but he wants the ball back. That's what I liked about Kevin. Look at him. He wants the ball back. He like, man, give me the ride. <laughs> he the truth, though, but, I, you know, I, I'm always going to bring it, man. Even if you're going to torch me, I'm going I'm to try to give you my all because, you know, that's, that's what basketball is. 
Again, I'm throwing the ball in the post, just not trying to play so much one-on-one, -on -one, mixing it up, giving them different looks. Um, we real stagnant right here, but I think he, oh no, he missed it. He missed that, came back and got his rebound, hustled, fumbled it, almost grabbed it again. These, this is why we was a hard team to beat. And then we got Kevin do a spin nutmeg. Bad reach by Denzel, I remember that. I saw him going for the lunge and then just got a little mid-range off. And right now you see, like, I'm not talking. Um, I don't talk till later. I don't think the, when he walked up to me at the free throw line is in here. But uh, he walked up to me and started it. And then I said, <laughs> I said, this is the issue right here because you got weak people like you in the league. <laughs> but at that time, like, I didn't know who he was, y'all. So stalled me out. I just heard he was an NBA player. So, again, I was just talking, man. We was jawing back and forth. Um. I did tell him the issue like with him is them cool dudes, you don't need them in the NBA. So I'm at this point, I'm just trying to get in his head. And then look, he get a layup and start talking. So now if you hear it, the gym go crazy because they know what I'm about to do. So now, you know, we hooping. Then things get, oh, right here, look at him. Look at him, walked up to me and then look. Offensive foul, this is when the game started to crack. So like people think this was all me. Like, nah, he was drawing. And then even, you know, I didn't, I didn't call for ice on him every time. Other players try to guard me. Porter get a leak out. Um, look, we got people standing in the corners. We get a block on him. He just had a bad day in the office. That's all that was. I turn the ball over on a bad, you know, double. I got to pass that. Porter's so tough, bro. <laughs> I come down and get a lob from out of bounds from game. So still a close game, still a close game. It was some some talking, John going on, but we didn't really let that let that affect us. That's how we play. Uh, we don't got the most talented team, but we're gonna play the hardest. Again, it's other people guarding me, but again, they telling everybody to drop back. So the more you do that, you know, the more you're gonna let somebody heat up, regardless of who they are. They come down to get another three after us. And then again, just a little ISO, just seeing with the defense. You see again, disrespecting me. Drop back, let him shoot. And now I'm talking to him because I'm like, man, you crazy. Again, like he dropping back because he don't know, you know, another one. So, again, I'm just going to keep talking because now I'm hot. Now you can't stop me from driving or shooting. Now it's just a long night. Now I don't need to pick no more because now I'm going to get whatever I want. So, again... Missed that one. My guy, Bell, clean it up. It felt good. <laughs> Again, this one, that step back happened to the mid-range. Now it's a wrap. Now it's a wrap because I'm, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> and then, you know, we got the announcer. The announcer, extra. You can't come in there and just be regular. <laughs> Again, I'm waving off the pick and rolls now because now I know he can't really guard me. So, hit him again. And now I'm telling him to go sit down because this game a wrap. I mean, they pan up at the championship. <laughs> My guy Roe come off, hit the mid-range jumper. We all rolling now. We all kind of feed off each other as a team. So, that's our X factor right there, man. If he rolling, it's a long night for anybody. Kevin Porter get a nice kick to the corner. Good layup. Bad reach by me. Give up an open three because of that reach. It's good. Nah, I'll take that. I'll take that. And still, we're only up five. We're only up five. Kevin Porter hit me in the corner for three. They get a fast break. Another layup. Like I said, they were they were a good team, man. The game only got out of hand when uh it turned into a one-on-one -on -one match between me and Denzel. So... I think that's when the game really got out of hand for them. But they were in it the whole game. I get another three ball. I think I ain't do a 42 this game. I think game come down to air ball. <laughs> that's my guy, though. Look at him get back on defense. Give up an and one. <laughs> hey, man, all I care about is he was trying. That's all I really cared about. Again, see, that was kind of just letting us take open shots. Like, you know, we not hoopers. Another open three. So, 
Kevin Porter with a windmill on a fast break, man. He had the gym rocking. That's who uh, Isaiah Thomas hit me before the game and was like, man, when you play? And he heard I was playing his young boy, uh, Kevin Porter, and he was like, oh, yeah, I'm pulling up to this. So right now I'm using a pick and roll. Um, got a good pass. At this point, it looks like they subbed out Giselle. Now we got game filling himself. Look at him. <laughs> That's my guy, man. That one's pretty deep. I knew I was going to miss that one. <laughs> Good no-look pass. My guy almost got hung. Look at him. <laughs> Doing push-ups in the middle of the game. Game crossing his heart before he shoot threes, man. We was... This game was crazy. Like I said, it was a close game. That four or five point lead, jumped that up to 11, man. It was pretty much a wrap after that. Um, I think everybody talk about this game just because how bad I was. I was talking crap, but as y'all can see, man, it was on both sides. It's just I had a better day in the office than he did. Um, as usual, I don't take nothing from him, man. He's a great player. He's in the league for a reason. Great college career. Um, he just had a bad day, that's all. Um, but yeah, so that's me breaking down the Denzel Valentine game, um, the clips you guys saw, a couple of the jawing back and forth, but, uh, in between those lines, it's all war, man. Um, it's all love outside of basketball. We even talked after that, um, said what we could have did better, what we did wrong. Um, but yeah, it's all growing and learning, man. So, um, let me know if y'all want me to break down anything else, um, of that sort. That game was a lot of fun. Do you mind doing that last bit one more time? Yeah, I got you separated. Uh, yeah, and so there's not an ad playing. In the <laughs> I was supposed to say, you're supposed to be on remote duty, bro. Where'd you go, <laughs> you bro? You think you're going for me? I'm fucking, I'm fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, you could do, do Imani at three minutes long. You Where is that one at? Uh, right above. Uh, oh, I see it. Dates. How good is he? Really fucking good. How tall is he? 6'9". 6'9"? Yeah, he's tall as shit. Shut the fuck yeah. up. Oh, for sure. I thought he was at least 6'5". He played like a guard low-key. Yep. They do call him the little Kevin Durant, don't they? Yep. He's tough. He go to Lincoln? <laughs> Here you go, bro. <laughs> I said the same thing at the end. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what you said was perfect. All right, um, I got you. Oh, Who's going to win the Lakers, duh? It's fuck, the Miami Heat scared me, man. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, guys, so that's me breaking down the Kevin Porter Jr. Denzel Valentine game. Like I said, there was a bunch of jawing back and forth. Um, I just had a better day in the office that day. Um, I don't take nothing from him as a player. He obviously had a great college career, and he's in the NBA for a reason. Um, kudos to him. Um, like I said, I just had a better day. Um, we also did end up meeting up after and talking about what we did wrong, what we could have did better. I'm on both sides. It's all a learning and growing experience. And in between those lines, it's just, you know, it's war. Outside of those lines, it's all love. And, um, you know, we can we can be normal. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys want me to break down anything else like that. But uh, that game was fun. What's up, Wild Life fam? Thanks for watching this video. If you want to support the movement, make sure you check out the product listing below this video and cop some of this merch.